Hey everyone, welcome to Heart for Art. My name is Layla. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create Christmas ornaments using Jenga or Tumbling Tower blocks from Dollar Tree. And there are six different styles of ornaments. So let's get started. As you can see here, I am using my favorite wood glue to assemble these Tumbling Tower blocks. I used about a pack and a half for all, well I made 24 of them, but uh, if you're going to make 24, then you need about a pack and a half. So here I'm taking five of them and I connected the three together in the middle and I created a top and a bottom for it, but they are not flat. It is a little bit um, 3D kind of, if you will. So if you see the top and the bottom, and you can use it as a stand on its own because uh, it stands pretty well as you can see, uh, but I turned mine into an ornament. So that was idea number one here's idea number two is a square and let me tell you something about the square so i created two l shapes and then the struggle got real when i put it together because this thing just kept falling apart and that is because i kept fiddling with it finally i kept all of it in here you guys can see the struggle was happening so i finally decided to leave it alone and let it air dry on its own there you go i'm done i was done with it and this is a rectangle again i'm using four and i created a rectangle uh, with it and um, majority of them i used as a actually all of them i think i used as a shadow box so that these were fun to play with i loved playing with them uh, this one is a flat surface it's just like a plank uh, you can make it three rows wide you can make it four rows wide one row wide two row wide so I'm just giving you guys ideas. There's plenty more out there that you can do with these um, tumbling, tumbling blocks or Jenga uh, blocks. So this is just a few of what I was interested in doing. Um, I made some, they were fun for little like my kids that they can decorate their Christmas tree in the basement with. Some I made them more elegant. So there's just a different bunch of them and I'll show all of them at the end of this video. So I'll show you guys all 24. In this video, I'm only going to show you how I decorated six of them, one of each style, and then at the end of the video, I'll show you the whole shlu. So this one that I'm creating, I used six of them, and I don't know what the style is called, but it's kind of like an uneven platform. So one goes up, one goes down, and I altered them together. And I'm using the previous one as a template because I wanted all of them to be the same. I didn't want them to be different. Uh, you could make them different. You could not make them. You could make them only four wide, five wide. I made them six wide. So, uh, as you can tell, I'm using the bottom as a template to keep them all even. And then I let all of them dry overnight for pretty much 24 hours before I do anything else with them. There you go. Uh, this one is my last one. And I created it uh similar to the first one but just i flattened it out and you will see the difference towards the end i will show you that one is more 3d than the other one and um, i'll show it to you guys in just one second once i'm done fiddling with them there you go i will be painting all of them red green and white and the green that you see here is actually a leftover paint that i uh, used for another project. Um, I just really love the color. I custom made it and I don't know what I've used because I've had it for so long now. Uh, and this color will be reappearing in my fall series as well, which I will be doing next month. So stay tuned for that and go ahead and subscribe so that way you don't miss any of those videos. I have some fun fall decor ideas that I'll be bringing to you guys. Anyways, back to Christmas in July. Well, um, and this red is actually called True Burgundy by Folk Art. I got it at Walmart, um, I think earlier this month. And it's a really pretty red. It's not in your face a bright red. And it's a very elegant, dark, deep red. Uh, and I love this color. So um, that's what I did two of them with. And the other two I did white. Uh, each set basically has approximately three whites i think it's three whites two reds and one green but they can vary according to whatever color i have available and when i mean set i did not identically make all of them as a theme they're just kind of thrown in together but they just kind of made a set together 
Some of them I made elegant, some of them I made fun for my kids to hang in their uh, tree in the basement. They have their own Christmas tree that they decorate, and um, these will look really cute in their, on their tree this year, along with their other ornaments that they have. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give, give all of them a good two coats of paint. The white one, I believe I gave three coats of paint. I used acrylic white paint and that's why it took three coats to cover it up and I let all of them dry thoroughly before I went in and decorated them. Here comes the fun part and that is decorating. So I went and raided my stash. I took out all my old wooden signs. I have a ton of old stuff for Christmas when I used to do paper crafting such as cards and um, scrapbooks and stuff like that so I took all of that stuff out and I just went to town with it these stickers I got from Hobby Lobby years ago uh, and that wood sign uh, that you see is actually I think it's from Michaels it's I'm gonna say at least seven eight years old I'm telling you these things are very old the snowflake garland that you see me use um, about Four years ago, my church was getting rid of some of their old decorations and they were just donating it to whoever wanted any. So, you know, I was first in line there and <laughs> I just went and picked up a ton of stuff. They had pearl garlands, these snowflake garlands, they had vintage old um, uh, ornaments that my daughter picked up for her room and we still use it to this day, guys. So, I just went and took out whatever I had in my stash, whatever I thought would look pretty, and I just went simple, and some are more than just simple. Now for the uh, hanger for this one, I just took some jute twine and some wooden pearls, or wooden beads, I'm sorry, and I think these beads are about, uh, I want to say four and five centimeter, or millimeters, and I just alternated them and created a hanger. I just did whatever thought looked pretty in my mind and I'm going to attach it and I will show you guys the end results in at the end of the video. Alright, in idea number two I will be working with the rectangle um, and I use it as a shadow box. I kind of use all these knickknacks. Um, years ago I got it from Michael's $5 back then it was like I think a $2 box and it was a kids craft kit and my kids never did it so I went ahead and saved all the pieces because they were really cute and this is a little red fence uh, that I put on the back side of it and like I told you I'm going to be using it as a shadow box ornament and this little moose came from you know what guys I have no clue but if I had to guess I'm going to say maybe Hobby Lobby and I couldn't put him in the front of the fence I'm sorry guys it is really hard to see what I'm doing because the camera angle is really bad, but I was trying to accommodate everything. So <clears throat> I just basically, sorry, I basically put the moose in front of the fence as though he's standing there and he has some grass uh, growing underneath his feet. And it's just pieces of, um, I think, uh, fern. I have some fern in there and some other kind of plant. I'm not a plant person, so I have no idea what the names are. It's just like nicks and knacks of uh, pieces of plants that have just been sitting around in my stash. So I took all of them out. I cut them up because I'm never afraid to cut up my pieces to use them for what I need to. And I just add some sticky pearls and this thread. Um, if you see, I'm threading in a candy cane or candy. Uh, and I got the candy garland from Hobby Lobby, I think last year. And it's in their mini section and I added a tiny little bell at the end and I made a trio of them so I think there's two green and it turns out to be a little bit more pink but it's actually a, little, it's a light red color the candy so I just made a knot and I kind of added to the top which I thought I was showing you guys but I don't know where my camera angle is going oh well um so I take it to the top and at the end photos you guys will see what I'm talking about it ended up being really cute. Um, this was one of the favorite one of mine. And I'm just going to tack it to the top of it as though it's dangling like some mistletoe. Take me out mistletoe. Um, and I think it turned out to be really, really adorable. Uh, on the side, on the right hand side of the screen, if you see that little sheet of red glitter, 
See, right there. It looks so cute. I thought it was so adorable. I'm going to add a little sticky bow that came with the same set as the fence did. And I'm just going to glue it down because I thought it looked really cute. Uh, I didn't want to add too much dimension at the outside since the inside was full and very busy. So that's what I did. And then the hanger, I used a berry pick that I got from uh, Dollar Tree. And I just added glue. I kind of swirled it on the sides to make a little uh, surface for it to sit, stick on. And uh, now I'm going to take my... These are brad. Uh, they're called brads, and they're in the scrapbooking aisle of Home Depot, not Home Depot, guys, come on, Hobby Lobby, or Michaels, and you use it for scrapbooking, and I have a ton of them, as you can see, so I took out some stars, they're white stars, I cut the prongs off, and I stuck them on the end, and this was idea number two. Here I made a comeback for the green color for all my Christmas trees. I painted them. These trees are actually uh, wooden ornaments from Dollar Tree and Michaels. Um, and I'm just going to paint the back and the front just because it, when I place them, I don't want you to see the unfinished wood in the back because I just think it looks really untidy. So I finished both the front and the back. I will be uh, also using some brown paint to color the trunks of the ornaments and or the trees I should say not the ornament the tree and I do both sides again just in case you see it um, and I let them dry I will eventually go in here and use a darker green um, right there and I mix them with the regular green, the darker green, and a little bit of brown to, to kind of bring some dimension to the trees because they look really flat. And I'm dabbing the paint on. I am not painting it on. I'm actually dabbing it so the bristles of the brush are making kind of like a little points. And it looks really neat and um, kind of realistic in a funny way. So here I'm putting all of them down. As I told you, three on the bottom and then two in between them on the top raised so that way it gives it a 3d effect and i actually do not use this as an ornament i make it as a uh, tear tray stand uh, or tear tray decoration so i put a stand on it um here i am completely in love with this idea i thought that instead of adding some stars the brad stars that i have i'm going to take these heart puffy stickers and add them to the top of the Christmas tree because who does not love Christmas tree? seriously I love Christmas that's my favorite season uh, let me know in the comments below if uh, which one is your favorite holiday that you guys love to decorate and um, I don't know create for uh, I would love to know that and as you can see as you saw in the still picture they look adorable here I'm adding some uh, red dots uh, these are sticker pearls and I'm, I'm running i'm randomly gosh i can't talk today randomly placing them all over the trees i thought i was going to hang this and i'm so deciding which hanger to use then i decided to use a jenga block to make it a christmas tree stand so they look like they're um it's a forest tree forest there you go it's a christmas tree forest in idea number four, I took that pesky little square ornament that gave me so much trouble in the beginning. Um, anyways, I still love it. Um, and I added some snow garland, snowflake garland. Uh, I trimmed them up. And if you see me lighting up the edges, I'm burning all the thread where it hangs off of. So that way they, you can't see that I cut the thread off. And another wooden tag that I got from Michaels a long time ago. Um, I'm going to stop saying that because I keep repeating myself. But you guys know all my stuff is old. It's from Michael's Hobby Lobby or Dollar Tree. There you go. I summed it up for you guys. Uh, anyways, I'm using some Fabri-Tac to attach it down. And the string, I will, uh, I believe, put it to the front of it. Okay, so this one is in the front. And I'm going to attach these snowflakes, one big one, two small ones on either side. And I also add some uh, red pearls. You guys will see me do that in a second. I brought back my 
what my husband calls my Barney bag. Well, this one is a Barney box. And I add some uh, pearls to it. And I thought it looked really pretty and elegant. And then around the edges, I just thought it was too plain. So I decided to add some pearl trim uh, that matched kind of like the pearl, red pearl theme. So I add the pearl trim around it. And this one is a an ornament because I do create a hanger for it. I am actually going to be deciding if I want to put a lace trim or, as you can see, a beaded trim. But I actually went with a lace one because it looked a little better. It was too much beads going on. Um, so I went ahead and added that and I had some leftover pearls and I added it to the sign. And this one is done. Idea number five, I took this gingerbread sticker, gingerbread house sticker, and I stuck it to the front of it, and I added a gingerbread on the top as though he was hanging out outside his house, chilling in the snow, having a fun time. Anyways, and then I added the green, um, late, it's not lace, it's kind of, eh, it's a ribbon. It's white and green, and uh, I added to the top and the bottom of it just to trim it or edge it out a little bit. I just thought it was really bare naked. Um, I do it to the top and to the bottom. And this was just a tiny piece left over, so I just decided to use it anyways instead of storing it. Um, and yeah, I had the perfect amount. So I decided, now I'm deciding if I wanted to add some other stuff. And then I found these little candy cane. They're super tiny candy cane stickers. And I added one on either end of the doors and then some on the roof. Um, and I only added about four or five of them. And this one, I actually did turn it into an ornament. However, you can keep it as is and use it as a little stand and use it as a display. You don't have to add um, string to it to make it into an ornament. You can put it in your china cabinet, in your uh, simple decorations, anywhere you can do it. So I decided to add red because too much green was going on. And I thought a pop of color would look really pretty. This is a red velvet kind of uh, ribbon, and I just place it on the top, and this ornament is completed. Last but not least, in idea number six, I took the last ornament. I took a piece of paper from the Evergreen Cabin by Craftsmart from Michaels, and I stuck it on there, and I let it dry thoroughly before I sanded it the edges down to give it a clean crisp cut and then I forgot to hit record to let you guys know what I did next but I will tell you have no fear I just took a simple wooden sticker from Dollar Tree I it's glittered and I stuck it to the one end and then I took two reindeer table scatters from uh, Target Dollar Spot and I stuck them down as though they were flying over the houses and I'll show you a picture in just a second and then I just took simple twine and I made it into a hanger and this concludes my Jenga DIYs.